How to use the Bloom plugin, easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to use the Bloom plugin. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website and you need to get to your main dashboard. So this is my dashboard for the website that I have on WordPress. Today I'll show you how to add the Bloom plugin and how to use it. For that, we will of course go to our plugin section so you can see right here we have plugins click on add new in add plugins we're gonna search for bloom the first plugin right here bloom for publishers it's actually a plugin to create a local search and other hyperlocal experiences for your readers it's a new plugin you can see it has 100 plus active installations now and it is compatible with my wordpress version so we're gonna click on install now click on activate and we have our plugin right here okay so we have bloom and now we can set up all of the different settings and it will help our readers on our website so you can see this is the general then we have local search map feed links and buttons post type settings i will show you each of the different options one by one we have general first and in general plugin settings we need to connect the keys so this is where you will actually add the API key, the Bloom Publisher key and Google API key as well. If you have a website on Google, then you will be able to find your Google API key as well. Or you can just go to the Bloom Publisher key and add it right here. These keys connect to your accounts on Bloom and Google because in order to actually rank our website higher on google and help our users get to our website through google of course everybody searches on google and you, they get to our website if i will connect my accounts my bloom to my google then the readers the visitors that are coming to my website it will help them a lot and i will get traffic directly from the google search bar then we can also select the Google AMP compatibility, which is disabled now. You can enable or disable. So I have disabled this option for now. Click on save settings and your general settings will be added. Moving on, we have the local search. Because local search means that when readers are reading something, they type in the words, the keywords in the Google search bar. And I have connected my Google to my Bloom. And now I am getting traffic directly from Google, the different keywords that we have. So now the local search means that it is according to an area and it is according to a location. Local search gives your website the capability to allow users to explore content by their current location or by typing a location. That's what the local search means. And it really helps us with the SEO of our website and with the local SEO. Then we have map. Now we can of course add a map on our Bloom plugin so that we can have our own stats according to the location. The search is going to be local. First of all, a static map images to post. So if you want to go with this, you can disable or enable this option. Then we have map zoom. Then we have close or far. This is just for the map that we will get on our website. Then we have map height and map position above article or below article so if you deal with the articles and blogs that involve different locations and if you want to allow your users to do a local search then you will be adding a map you can select the location of the map if it's going to be above the article or below the article so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add it above the article so that it's clear to my users that okay local search is available click on save settings with each option, you just have to click on save settings so that all of the data that you have saved, it's not lost. Moving on, we have so feed. This is going to be the post feed. So now you can actually, if you have posts on your WordPress website, you can just integrate them from here. Or if you have a feed, like a separate feed, if you have a separate feed, then you can add the ID right here and click on save settings. So the feed will be added here and it is for our different platforms. For example, you have medium.com or you use blogger.com for the blogs and for the different purposes, then you can add the feed here. 
then we have links and buttons now this is really important and don't get scared because you see some of the coding here that's actually fine we just need some of the buttons so you can see this is a button this is what it looks like we have search nearby and open map and then we have this button right here so you're going to select the button you want to go for search nearby or open map this is what the buttons will look like if you want to go ahead and change the styles then what you will do is it's dark here what you can do is you can type in light then in the search you can go for map so either you will go with this one or this one and then we have the options links to open search and map so this is going to be the link right here again in the search you can add map right here just like you can actually remove it and add it so this is how it works we can scroll down to the custom link to open search as well let's say that i want to add a friendly readable short link to my website so what i will do is i will just copy this one and i will paste it to my website and it's going to be like a link that will open with the plugin this is what it looks like then we also have another option which is the url parameter for the custom link to open moving on we have post type settings now post type setting allows me to do the settings for the wordpress post type then we have bloom post type published data field for the post we're gonna select what kind of post you go for news event emergency recommendation don't post to bloom so you can select the type of post that you want to go for and then we have days until it is archived we have member directory right here again i'm gonna select news event emergency recommendation don't post to bloom then we have view so view is also important again we have all of the different options here we can of course select the pages that we have on our website as well and days until archived once you're done with these settings click on save settings and all of the settings that you want to do for bloom will be saved so you can see we have general local search map field link buttons and post type searchings once you publish your post on your wordpress website and now you have your local search available and your visitors and users will be able to actually search content according to their location this will help you with your website being more efficient and it will allow your users to actually search for the content they are looking for and it will allow to promote your website and you will be able to work on the seo too so this is actually a really good plugin that you can go for it's a very new plugin that is available for the publishers which is known as bloom so if you are a publisher and you post content on your website you were looking for a plugin then bloom is your answer so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question